Professor T. O. Omo Leavile, the Balogun General, Field Marshal of Traditional Medicine in Africa, Garukua Mashuma Benina Jiha Kaduna, the Ogen by Will of One of England, Champion of Traditional Medicine in the Ekowa Sub Region, President of the Traditional Doctors in Nigeria. I am an Edo man from Urumipek to be precise, and I live in Benin, you are now. There is nothing in this world that is new. The only thing we it happened is that. Maybe the thing tay before he come back, and the people that we see him, we think say they never seen him before. COVID nineteen called coronavirus is a bad sickness. In our place, it is called homophobia. Our people use the traditional method, which is very crude, in fighting it. Because they first of all felt that nobody knows what in Kosan. So because nobody knows what in Kosan, they will tell the women, go to the village road, the, go to the farm road. When you get there, pull your clothes, even your underwear, fold them and put them for your head. We will now all gather together, swear. Use your private to swear that if a man or a woman, whether a witch, a wizard, or a sorcerer or a sorcerer, a day for group of people we go divide this sickness where nobody know how it come now say we people for this village will not accept the sickness nobody should de- join the bad people to divide the sickness if anybody go make this private kill them they go they go swear sing them from the from the road to the farm to the road to the market in the evening. All men will not come out. They not see the it's a taboo to see the women naked. After some days, the men will use broom. This not broom is sweeping the village. They will take course a course and carry the broom to to the market road. And put it there. So any medicine that is given we will be very effective because nobody will be worried whether which will spoil it or not. If a person get the king, we get him. If he sleep with the pekin, the mother sleep with the pekin, the mother will be having the sickness. Most of the children will have the sickness. People will die. Many people will die. Then, uh, when they are preparing the medicine, at times they will go to the back house and put a, a hut, and there they will treat the king. He will not be eating food with oil. They, now there they will stay put down. That is, that is quarantine which was not exaggerated at that time because nobody knows the meaning of quarantine. The sickness has been there. It has been treated. It is high fever. It is malaria-oriented sickness. 
it is higher than malaria, but it is of the group of malaria. That is why it's called monopocin. But you will know that the white man has always been defeated by malaria scourge. When they came to this part of the world, they were dying in tens and in hundreds. They were surprised and they said, waiting they kill white man, we know they kill black. So when they saw it like that, they saw the medicine we are taking, whether you call it a book or not. They took the medicine home and they studied it. That is where they produce quinine. That is where they pro produce uh, nivaquine or chloroquine as as today, which they were using to treat malaria. In the same way now, uh, this uh, country that is using uh, uh, that is using traditional medicine to treat uh, uh, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope they call the country uh, we, he, he, he has uh, all the people he has treated. He discharged more than uh, the people that are seen. More than fifty percent of it are discharged. And traditional medicine, they take treat them, and nobody has been recorded as dead. They are using uh, artemisinin, a, a plant that has been uh, discovered to be very effective for malaria which is uh, uh, planted in everywhere in Nigeria. So we have the, it's missing for Malaysia. We have it. So I, I therefore say very emphatically with that pride, that traditional medicine has a total cure for COVID-19. But I will say like this, very unfortunately, any time a traditional doctor said that he has medicine for a sickness, people will look at it as a gimmick. But if a white man says he can treat it, everybody rush after him. I was a member of uh, uh, that is my people. I was a member of the people appointed to treat uh, HIV. I was attacked to National Hospital Abuja in 2001. I treated HIV and I was staying in a uh, city capital hotel. The number that were given to me, no one died in it, and they were becoming very good. But because doctors were jealous, that very uh, Opportunity was killed. We who treat it, I'm almost 80. I'm alive. Though Abaraka and uh, Garikida died, but uh, it was not uh, because we treat people uh, of HIV. Any, any virus, any person that can treat any virus, any medicine that takes care of virus, that kills virus, can teach COVID-19 virus. What happened is that the first question is no. Though I am a member in a dual state of the team of this COVID-19, I am a member of the committee. I was appointed by the by the uh, well, by the governor. Uh, but I will have to say it like this. I am happy that COVID-19, not everything is bad. Everything that is bad, there is good in it. I am happy that it is a means of teaching Nigerians, most especially the rich men, the meaning of life. 
Because when you yourself is a big man and you are rich, and the people around you, according to the Bible, there was a rich man, a king, and there was Lazarus. When Lazarus is, when the king is eating, the food way they fall from the ground. Lazarus could not be able to near there and eat, and he tell the king, kindly allow him to eat the food way to way from your table as you are eating. And he said, who is this one that is bringing this ugly scenario? He called the dogs to beat him out, throw him out, was thrown out. Uh, if a man is rich, the people around him are supposed to enjoy him. Any person that is sick in Nigeria among the big men, run her to to overseas for treatment. This time now, the whole people said no. If you are sick, treat yourself in your country. No plane was flying. Nobody was allowed to travel to anywhere. It therefore means that we must learn to develop what we have. And if we develop it, we will not become a, a sheepish consumer of the inventions of the Western world uh, on, on, on drugs. But rather, we will become a good co-contributor to the development and breakthrough of most of the sickness treatment through traditional medicine and contribute to the country's economy. So it, it is an eye-opener. We are very grateful to it because those who were going to overseas are told not to go. Even those who went to overseas, where they come now, not be as we the uh, run to embrace them. Everybody look at it as a taboo, making not go bring coronavirus. So people not they embrace them. We are happy about it. Let every rich man contribute to traditional medicine. I will ask you a question. Nigeria got independence since 1960. That's 60 years ago. Is it a plus or a minus that no, no, no president has been able to be allowed by the people who are advising him to establish a research body where traditional doctors will be made to form a healthy synergy with the medical doctors, pharmacists, pharmacologists, botanists, all form a meeting? so that they will discover within good for traditional medicine in this land. In their present, people who are mad are treated with traditional medicine. It did not become a, a big opener for them. In their present, bone setters are able to set bone in their present. Just to name uh, a few. So, is it a plus or a minus? Because a country that has no research body had no future. A country must have a research body. Chamamauta's tongue of Ghana discovered Kugnusun, which is uh, which is called a uh, 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 They said uh, they they discovered Kugnusun very good for uh, malaria. And uh, the, the World Health Organization shown them and told them, don't use acupuncture at all, anything called traditional medicine in China. Then they said, if you cannot use it, use it with English medicine. They described it as hodipod, a system that is not good at all. If you use it alone, it's not good. If you join into other medicine, it's not good. So it, the best is discard it, throw it away. So, but Chamamauta's tongue told the Chinese, say, that is what the health organization owed. Make one the use them. He gave, he gave a grant. Every traditional doctor in China were giving grants to develop their medicine. 
some uh, professors saw the grant very attractive and joined them. And the professors were giving grant. Then about 11 big libraries was created where books about tradition, about Okuponto were written and kept. Five years later, Mr. Journalist, the sickness that the, that the Western medicine cannot treat were healed. And when they see it like this, uh, the, 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 the World Health Organization who rebuke it and call it uh, the Holy Pod, now send as part even as of today to go to China to study uh, acupuncture, the people's uh, traditional medicine system in China. If A, why not B? If the World Health Organization is sheepish in it, or delaying in it, or, or, or reluctant in it, the, our president should go ahead to appoint a, a heady a committee for traditional medicine to, to develop it so that it will not be a fault finding committee. Not a fault finding, but how to use it. When the Americans are looking for crude, crude in traditional medicine, that is where they discover so many things that others do not see. That crude is so good. America does not need a refined medicine, they need crude so that they will refine it and get many things in it. And my recommendation is that the federal government, as a matter of urgency, establish a committee where there will be no rivalry of traditional doctors, many of them, they will add pharmacologists, they will, because that is in charge of crude medicine, they will add pharmacists and botanists, so they will add medical doctors. This committee must be paid for their meeting, for the, when they are coming it is not good for us to say we come to Abuja, we pay for flight or we enter motor, we reach there, we pay for our hotel. We reach there, we are giving a bottle of Coke and uh, maybe... And, from a full sponsorship. and uh, when we are going, nothing happens. We still go and pay for our hotel, then pay for our flight back home. Don't be like that. Otherwise, myself, I am an old man and I want to give what I have for my country because nobody can be remembered for what he did not do. Somebody can only be remembered for what he did. I am ready, the, the time has gone when they said traditional medicine are selfish, they don't want to show their formula to people. So we are not like that, we want a healthy synergy, but it should not be a healthy a synergy that where there will be rivalry. We will cure COVID-19 with ease. can meet up, the only thing that will be done so that the government, because I know that there are so many critics, so that the government exonerates itself from being criticized, let the person that is a, that is a victim agree that he wants to take traditional mercy. He will be given a questionnaire, he will, be, he will say he wants to take a traditional mercy, maybe for trial. And if he, if anything happened to him, he should not blame the, should not blame the government for doing it. It is his own decision. Because you can look at what ha happened in Madagascar. The World Health Organization criticized Madagascar, but Madagascar today have no record of death of coronavirus. All the people that he came, he had, he had about 150 or so as patient that this, that are having uh, coronavirus 100 are healed the 50 are being are being uh, uh, time and they are taking treatment no one is dead if a why not b
So people should know that matter they grant the thing we kill our chief of staff. We will say matter not they grant like that. God is be with Nigeria. People should uh, should obey the government. We as we are talking now, we are not ready to disobey the government because anybody who is talking, he will say don't go and take traditional mercy. But people take traditional mercy. So we we are not challenging the government for saying what they want to say.